This is a hybrid between the old analog type of processing and the digital computer-based processing. It's a method for changing signal and noise, separating them, and increasing the ability to detect the signal in a noisy environment. The modulation part comes where I do frequency shifting of the noise to a frequency band outside of the signal band. A lot of the research is going into imaging arrays, cameras, uh, radar systems, the automatic car systems for uh, cameras, imaging. I'm taking some of those techniques and applying it to a single photo detector, one or two, and using that as a way to optimize my detection of a very weak signal instead of amplifying everything and trying to build the signal up. Instead of dealing with millimeters, I'm dealing with microns or submicrons. I can build a proof of concept relatively inexpensively, work out all the bugs and details, then go to something that's measured in the 20 nanometer scale and shrink it even further or put more functionality into this after I've debugged it. If this process actually works, what I can do is I don't need the bigger laser, I can detect a smaller signal. There's a number of ways that the projects that we've been working on here are trying to orbit lasers. One potential is oil gas companies. I can shoot a laser beam down a pipeline and detect, if I'm tuned properly, I can detect some specific gas that can be absorbed by a laser. I could use it for laser communications with a very weak laser. If the numbers work out in reality the way they're working out on the computer, I can use the equivalent of a laser pointer. If I have a smaller laser that's the size of a pencil pointer, and then I have a detector of the size that I showed you, now I can put the electronics into a very, very small space, the laser and the, and the detection electronics. 